Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee on this uh, delightful Thursday as we have a dry air mass that is built in. These are the uh, temperatures where we saw them bottom out at around the 7 o'clock hour, uh, mostly in the uh, 50s to low 60s. Uh, the dew points uh, much lower than that, of course, and and that has really set us up for a very, very nice couple of days here in the Northeast. It's a Temporary interruption is actually only bringing temperatures down uh, close to average for this time of year for the next few days. And then we're going to have our last weekend of uh, summer before astronomical fall begins um, early, you know, early next week. I'm not a big proponent of watching, you know, specific moments as to when switches are flipped in the atmosphere. You know, uh, September 1st. Uh, to me starts meteorological fall because September, October, November are the three months where the atmosphere cools the fastest. So, you know, whether it starts on the 1st of September or the 21st of September, you know, it, it, to me, it's six of one, half a dozen of the other. And anyway, uh, as we look at the satellite this morning, you can see uh, a couple of features. First off, I, I got to say, I was absolutely taken by surprise by the severe weather yesterday evening that moved across parts of northern New Jersey and New York City. Uh, I really, I did not expect those storms to develop the way they did, but you know what, it, they did and, and uh, I missed it. So um, we'll uh, learn from that experience and move on to the next one. Uh, here's that cold front now uh, moving uh, down into uh, Delaware and Maryland and continuing to push that dry air southward. We have Tropical Storm Ian out here, which really doesn't look like very much of a tropical cyclone, but uh, it's still moving right along uh, with 40 to 50 mile an hour winds. And that's going to be gone in another day or so. And we have uh, Julia, which is now back to being a depression, the center sitting offshore of the Carolinas. And it'll probably just meander here for uh, another couple of days before gradually just either dissipating or moving inland. And uh, you can start to see the next weather system out way in the plains and Rockies that'll be getting ready to move to the eastern states. So um, before we... Uh, uh, get to that we've got the weather for the next couple of days which looks pretty good and I'll just back it up here you can see Julia on the GFS uh, off the Carolinas just kind of meanders around there's still a close circulation um, doesn't really do very much the high over us moves out to the east we keep an onshore flow through Friday and then uh, into Saturday it starts to back around to more southeast and south um, Sunday now here's that next weather front now because of the fact that I think because of the fact we're getting this onshore flow for Saturday into Sunday, uh, we probably won't see a, a, a big warm up. We may just wind up staying still in the 70s to maybe near 80 on Sunday, if only because of the fact that I think we'll probably have more clouds to deal with. And then some showers uh, look to move through here late Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. Uh, the model does want to have a little bit more with this front that it hasn't ha has had in past fronts. And then after that, uh, for next week, uh, we, you know, we get some uh, shots of drier air, but they're not overly dry, and uh, it doesn't look to get, um, you know, too cool. Uh, might get a little bit warm as we go through the uh, through the week, uh, back up uh, into the 80s. But not uh, not an impossibility. It does look like maybe for Tuesday into Wednesday, it probably will be more like 70s, but we'll see. I'm not really overly impressed with all of this. And then it does get very warm later next week as we go into Thursday, Friday, and Saturday with this high going out underneath us. And you got a bit of a backdoor front that sets up to the north uh, because of the big ridge it's building in the east. Now, I want to take a look. We're going to go back and look at the tropics because there are some things going on, and I've been pointing them out the last few days. Here we have a new tropical depression. Let me move myself out of the way here. I'll put myself in the corner. Um, but here we have a, the new tropical depression, tropical depression 12. It's moving westward. It really isn't doing very much. Conditions aren't all that favorable for strengthening. But it is forecast to kind of hold together and sort of move its way along toward the west. Now, I'm going to, you know, I've been pointing out the last few days with these weather, with weather models that one of the keys uh, to the forecast in the Atlantic going forward is going to be the big ridge that's out here. And I want to look at, um, the European model in particular, um, because I think overall this has, tends to handle it a bit better. Now, let me just back it up and show you what's going on. All right, here's the upper air, and here we have right here is, um, this is Ian, 
and Ian is going to move into the westerlies. So you can see there's there's a west these uh, lines packed close together. Okay, they're really pointing out the jet stream pattern as winds go west to east. So the tighter the lines are together, the faster the the faster the winds are blowing aloft. So we've got these strong westerlies that blow across the eastern part of the United States and out into the Atlantic. Ian's getting caught in this and you know, that's a done deal. And if you also notice that those westerly winds actually extend pretty far south into the Atlantic, okay? Uh, so anything that comes out of the tropics is going to get caught by all this and, and, and just be, be taken out to sea or kept from getting it any further west than 60. But as we move through time, one of the things that's happening, and I think this is going to be key to whether another tropical system uh, winds up getting close to the United States, as we move through next week, this hole that exists uh, out at 60 West closes, okay? We have a big ridge that builds up in the eastern states. This ridge is building out from the uh, west coast of, the northwest coast of Africa and from the, uh, between the Azores and uh, the, um, Cape Ver the Cabo Verde Islands uh, is trying to build west. So the, the hole here is not nearly as pronounced uh, you still have westerlies that come down to uh, just north of 35 degrees north, but they don't really extend much further south than that. So the question is, if the hole is closing, whether any tropical systems that move along are going to be able to avoid um, being caught in that weakness and being pulled up to the north and northeast. And I think that's something that we're going to have to watch closely. In fact, as we move through time, um, the hole does, in fact, does close now it, it, it kind of shifts over to about 50 west but if we wind up at this point if we have a tropical system here okay uh, it's already missed the hole so you're not going to have any new system might wind up turning in that direction but uh, if something's already gone by it before this trough deep cuts a new hole in there um, then you have something closer to the United States now this is of course um, what I would refer to as being in, in, in weather forecast squirrel land. Um, but, you know, we do have these tropical systems that are going to be moving right along. And whether this is real or not. Now, the Europeans have been trying to show over the last number of days that these uh, weather systems that are uh, coming out on uh, some model runs, they, uh, they, they, they hit the hole at, at, and get caught. On other model runs, they don't. Now, on this particular one, uh, on this particular run, Tropical Depression 12 misses that particular hole and winds up getting uh, east of the Bahamas. Now, whether that's real or not, I don't know. Um, there's another system behind it that's being indicated that really the model doesn't do very much with that on this run. In fact, that one actually gets caught by the new um, hole that opens up. So you can see what happens here. Um, Tropical Depression 12 misses it, according to the European, and then uh, the one that follows gets caught in it and, and turns. So we'll see if this is um, something that's going to be important uh, down the road. Uh, it'll be just something that we're watching out of the corner of one eye while everything else in the weather world seems to operate according to normal. So have a great day. Uh, enjoy the beautiful dry weather. Don't forget uh, sdsstormchasing.com, meteorologistjoechaffee.com, weatherlongisland.com uh, for all your weather needs. Uh, while the weather is calm, there isn't much uh, storm chasing to do, but SNS, uh, ssstormchasing.com is a great uh, source website to go to uh, if storm chasing is your thing. Uh, they will, uh, they chase them. Okay. And, and I'm part of their group. So have a great day and enjoy your Thursday.